Hey guys, it's Three Wishes here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a comparison between bell shaped petticoats and A line petticoats. Now I know there's probably hundreds of videos on YouTube that shows the comparisons already, but for some reason I can't seem to find them myself. So if you're having a problem like me and you can't find the videos, I hope my video will help you out and hopefully it will help you make a decision on which petticoat you want. So let's get to it. So here's the bell shaped petticoat. As you can see it is the shape of a bell. That's why hence the name bell shaped. Um, here's the thickness of it. And most of its poofiness comes from the middle part right here or the upper part to make the dress look kind of bell shaped. This petticoat has two layers and this layer doesn't really have any poofiness to it so it's just to cover the second layer and the second layer has a uh, has the petticoat kind of bunched up together so that's how it creates the poofiness to the uh, petticoat and from what I've seen yesterday because I tried it on it doesn't really make the dress poofy compared to the a-line petticoat because for some reason the um, the layers right here is not that hard or there's not that many layers compared to the A-line so I'll show you guys when I try the petticoat on but um all my petticoats come from classical puppets so you can't really say that oh you can't compare that to this because it's not the same brand and yeah so here's the A-line petticoat and it has the shape of an A because most of its poofiness comes from the bottom and this one only has one layer compared to the bell but it actually has more poofiness to it because the, uh, the layer right here is more bunched up than the bell one so it makes it more poofy and here's the thickness of it and see how thicker it is than the bell shaped and I heard that the A-line is mostly for classic Lolias because sweet Lolias are more or sweet Lolita dresses have more of a bell shape to the dresses but to me you can use this as a bell shaped petticoat if you just bunch this up or if you wear a smaller petticoat on the top which is what I do plus it adds more poof on the dress so here is the A-line and once again, it is classical puppets. So now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And I'll see you guys in a bit. So here's the bell shaped petticoat. You can see that it's very curvy on the top, creating the bell shape on the dress. By the way, I apologize for the mess in the back. That is all my mom's stuff, not mine, guys. And here is the A-line. You can see that there is no poof on the top, but the bottom part makes up for it. And this petticoat only has one layer but it's so thick that I couldn't even show you guys. And here's the bell shaped petticoat under the dress. Right here, I'm folding a top part so it makes the dress more poofy and gives it 
make more of a bell shape. Not really sure if you guys can see the difference, but in person you can. And here's the A-line under the dress. You can see that it's really plain and doesn't really give much poof to it. And like the bell-shaped petticoat, you can also fold the top part of this one to create a bell shape. And ta-da! Bell shape! Woohoo! Two thumbs up guys! So this is the end of my comparison video. I hope I help you guys out. And I hope that you guys choose the right petticoat for you. And I just wanted to show you guys how I store my petticoat. Um, I don't know if this is very effective, but I didn't want to fold it because I didn't want the poof to go away. So I just store it in this angelic pretty bag. And yeah, thank you for watching guys and hope to see you guys in my next videos. Bye.